Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about prototyping. What is prototyping? Why is it important? How it can save you money and time when you use prototyping? And what are the tools that I use while prototyping? So all of that coming up in this video. Let's get started. You had me right under your First and foremost, let me talk about what is prototyping and why we should be using it. What is the problem that prototyping is solving for us? Let's just say you are a guy like me, who is a one-man army, who designs everything, codes everything, talks to the client and does everything like that. Now, one of the things that always bothers me is if I will design an app for a user or a client, whether he will like it or not. Let's just say I present an app to the client, whether it's an Android app or iOS app, the client might say, hey, you know what, I don't like this green color, just change it to the red. And I can do that, not a big deal. But then the client says, you know what, I don't like these buttons to be too much circular. I want the square buttons. And I just say, okay, that's okay. Then client come up with another demand and says, you know what, these things should be at bottom, these things should be at right, these things should be at the lower end, and these things can be shifted to the bottom of the things or maybe at the mid of the things. And then begins the nightmare because all of these things, when you change the code, it's not so easy to present in an app or in a website as well. These small changes, whether they are in an Android app, iOS app, or maybe a website, are not so easy to design. And this is all I'm talking about the client situation. The clients can be handled. They are always going to ask you for revisions. You have to provide them. But when these things are taken care in in-house or in a corporate situation, when you have hired a user experience design guy and he just comes and say, you know what, I want to just bring these components at the bottom. You say, okay, I'm going to do it. You are design user experience and I'm going to just do it. And then he comes back to you and says, you know what, the previous one was better, just revert the changes. And you just want to murder that guy because it takes so much effort for just writing the codes of all these things. And it is not so easy. And for years and years, people has been doing all these things. Now, at early days, people who remember the early days freelancing, we used to provide clients the Photoshop of the website, how it used to look like. Then the things move on to the app and then you used to provide the Photoshop link of these apps. And client doesn't really know that how it's going to feel like and how it's going to perform on the devices and all these things. Still, somehow you have to convince that this is the final design. Because when you ask a programmer or a coder or the person who writes the code, changing all these things is not so easy for him. Uh, simply because it takes a lot of time and time is money. This brings us to the concept of prototyping. Now, I don't know what you have learned in your computer science degree of what the prototyping is, but on an industry scale, almost everyone is using prototyping. Prototyping simply means it's not an exact app, but it's like moreover a photos of the app. It can be designed in Photoshop, Illustrator, maybe Sketch or whatever the platform or tool you are using. These are just photos. And in photos, somehow we use these photos to just put it into a mobile phone or on a website. And somehow user is allowed to click on the places where it was meant to be clicked and then move on to the next photo. So this is how the prototyping is being designed and is being served to the client. This saves a lot of time and money because at that right moment, the client can say, you know what, these things are missing, this should be there, or these colors are not accurate, or somehow the layouts needs to be changed, and all these things can be done in design. Now, of course, I do agree here that the, making all these changes for a designer perspective is not so easy. But looking at from a coding perspective, it's far more easier in the design while changing all these things when things are into development phase and coders are writing code for that. A lot of people think that designing the apps like Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Dropbox, Airbnb, some guy might have just got onto his chair and just start writing the gibberish gibberish code on Atom, maybe Xcode, maybe Android Studio and voila, your app is done. No, this is not how the things are done in industry. The first and very first step is designing a prototype. Now, yes, of course, there are a variety of steps. Uh, a lot of people get involved in it, like UI expert, user experience expert, designers, colors, and then finally doing a prototyping, writing code, then rolling out betas and all this. This is a complex process. And 
the more steps you are going to be involving in that phase, the more shiny the product is going to be. Okay, Hitesh, now we understand what is prototyping and why is it important and how it can reduce our work with the clients or maybe the final product. So what are the tools that you use for prototyping? I'm glad that you asked that. Okay, just pause there right now, right there. This is not a sponsored video. I know whenever I name any product, I'm onto a stage on a platform YouTube where anybody just names out any product. It means that it's a paid, it's a sponsored video. This is not, nobody sponsored me for this. I wish they could have, but no, this time they didn't sponsor me. In case you have been following me around, you know that I'm a sketch guy. I use sketch for all of my design things. Now there is no wrong that if you use Photoshop or Illustrator or maybe Affinity Design Studio or maybe Affinity Photos or Design, whatever you are using, I'm a sketch guy. Now a lot of people ask me, hey, is there any alternative of sketch for Windows? And sadly there is no. Uh, yes, you can argue with me that Photoshop is even better and all these things But you know most of the designers are switching to sketch uh, for designing app these mobile UIs and web UIs and pretty much everything and sadly There is no alternative of sketch on Windows I use sketch for all of my designs and for prototyping I use a tool known as Envision now for you Envision might be a new but Envision is here for a while now. Now it was not always the case. There was no such thing as Envision and I'm glad that startups are coming up all over the globe and Envision is solving a big problem of prototyping. It has been here for quite a few years now and the surprise thing about the Envision is I have worked with a variety of companies and whenever I go to the companies and companies just tell me that we use for prototyping Envision I just get amused that yes so many people are using Envision and yes honestly it's a great tool everybody just loves it it just works and whenever I just say it just works I love these lines beginners and seasonal freelancers who just like to work on one project at a time can use Envision absolutely for free there is a free tier in which you can just work on one project at a time but if you're a bigger company obviously you can afford Envision as well now in the Envision you just open up your account you can just put up your images and can just mark out the places where you want something to happen maybe you want to move to next screen or next view whatever that is you can just mark that and when somebody touches that on the phone it just moves to the next screen now the biggest advantage with Envision that I like is you can use everything on a mobile phone in their app. It gives user a more control and more sense of freedom that yes, this is how my app is gonna look like. This is how it feels in my hand. This is a great advantage for freelancers and app developers. The guys at Envision knows it really best that people are shifting towards Sketch and that is why they provide like extraordinary support to Sketch. You can directly upload all of your Sketch file just like that and they're gonna extract all these things like screen screens and icons and all of these directly from your Sketch file and I found this is amazing. Uh, I really like these guys that they know how the industry is shaping and how the industry is moving towards Sketch and all these other tools that are coming up every single day. I like when things are updated and people know what they are actually doing and Envision happen to know what they are doing. I highly recommend for the new beginners and the people who are in the college right now to get to know about these tools. So whenever you reach to the company stage and you reach the stage where you are working at some company, you don't just see these tools for the very first time, you are already aware of it. And one good way of finding about for such all these tools is this channel. Go ahead and do subscribe this. That was smooth integration of subscribing the channel, isn't it? In the upcoming few videos, I'm going to walk through and we'll talk more about prototyping and designing such things. In the upcoming few videos, we're going to fire up our sketch, we'll design a few login screens, few test elements and all these things in sketch so that we have something to work and then we will move on to Envision. In the Envision, we will be uploading our images and all these assets and, and I will walk you through that how Envision works, how you can have your Envision app and can just make sure that how your apps looks like in the phone, how the user experience and all these things. So stay tuned and in the upcoming few videos, we're going to have a lot more fun with the designing the things and Envision app. A lot more new technology are going to be discussed at this channel. That's it for this video. At this channel, we talk a lot about programming stuff and new tech stuff that is happening around the industry. So in case you are new here, do hit that red subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video. Hey, just more one side thing. In case you haven't checked out the Learn Code Online app at Google Play Store as well as iOS Store, go ahead, check them out. They're pretty awesome.